Yeah, this is uh, rapidly becoming uh, Dr. Ben Asks You. <laughs> the next question is not a question, it's actually an answer, is from Don. And thank you, Don. Good morning. <laughs> um, so uh, what's posted is a look at one of those electrostatic cleaning things. And yeah, that, that turned out to be really interesting. I looked at it. I looked at some stuff around it. The disconnect, so so what these things are is, so it's a machine that is going to, you're going to put in a little tablet, and the tablet's going to contain some kind of chemical that will release chlorine ions. And chlorine ions with water released in such a way, and um, um, yeah, it actually helps if you have some uh, electricity there, I think, yeah. Um, they would normally uh, break down uh, water that way. But um, it's going to form hypochlorous acid um, and the sodium version of that uh, I forget it's a uh, something but it's uh, NaOCl um, and anyway uh, hypochlorous acid and presumably the sodium version although I haven't seen that one uh, tested as much um, work pretty well against bacteria they sort of latch onto the membrane and then from what I remember of this um, they actually within a couple of seconds just destroy somehow or force the bacterium to destroy most of its ATP. It just gets shredded. And that's really weird. And it's also thought that they kind of mess up the membrane potential, yeah, of these little things. And so, yeah, it's, it's really good against uh, bacteria. It's okay against viruses, but viruses aren't properly alive, at least when they're out and floating in the air. Um, so in that state, uh, case, it would just have to latch onto and slowly degrade a virus. Yeah. And as uh, Don points out, uh, yeah, this thing isn't going to directly attack viruses. Um, so what they're saying with the electro, the electrostatic part of the sprayer is that they're charging up these molecules, which is going to make them try to stick to something. And so most of the gases in the air are not going to be things that it can stick to very easily. And so the idea is that it's going to go and uh, boom, just sort of uh, make it adhere to surfaces a little better, which is not bad. Yeah, they say in the materials several times that it's totally tested and totally safe. And then I look at the material safety data sheet. I guess it's just a safety data sheet now. Yeah, I got to get with the times. And yeah, the uh, the compound that's used in there is actually really similar to the one. It's the act, one of the active ingredients in uh, Comet cleanser, uh, like you used to use in your sink. Maybe you still use it in your sink. Yeah. Um, and uh, th it's just you sort of take a chlorine off the Comet and uh, put that electron into a double bond, and then boom, yeah, you got the active ingredient for this. Um, and it is listed on the safety data sheet as being associated with um, sort of skin corrosion and very severe eye burns, um, kind of low-grade toxicity, but uh, from the amounts it takes to kill a rat, which they also <laughs> helpfully list, it doesn't look, it's not particularly toxic as far as I can tell. So what they're saying is that um, it meets the standards, whatever the standards are for something that's safe for a worker to use. Um, yeah, and even prolonged exposure is probably okay. Uh, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> and I don't want a lawsuit because I don't actually know. But um, yeah, at the same time, those two things are uh, difficult for me to fully reconcile. Um, but this chemical is apparently also used in um, water purifiers and it's used sometimes in swimming pools as a water purification thing, just as a way to make hypochlorous acid, which is the thing that, uh, yeah, the, the reason why we use bleach, basically, yeah. So, there we go, yeah, I learned a lot. <laughs> it's interesting, there are, yeah, I think there's a link to the FAQ uh, in the question, which is not a question, it's an answer and a very good one. Thank you. <laughs> so this has been, uh, I don't know, tell Dr. Ben, uh, yeah, l let him know. <laughs> Thanks very much.